this week's Pasha is called Pasha's Boy. And in some places it's called Pasha's Boy El Paroi. And this week's Pasha is the, the beginning of, of Itzias Mitzrayim, finishing next week's Pasha. So why is the Pasha of Itzias Mitzrayim? It couldn't be a better name except Boy, Boy El Paroi, just the opposite, we're destroying Paroi. What's uh, what, what, what what kind of name is that for the Pasha of Yitzhak Mitzrayim? So the Rebbe brings in, in the, uh, from the Zoyar <coughs> that the Zoyar says that the Ebesher said to Moshe Rabbeinu, boy, I'll come with you. Because he told him to go into Paroi, into the deepest chambers of Paroi, into the innermost chambers of Paroi. And Moshe Rabbeinu was scared. And he said, boy, come, I'll go with you. So the, the Rebbe asked a simple question, why Dafka in this parasha is, is uh, the Zoya is, is talking about this word boy? Okay, in Pesam Makis it says lech, go. Boy means come. But we already had the word boy a couple of times in Pasha's Ve'eru by, by, by two of the Makis. They said boy or pare, come to pare. So why is the Zoya ta- ta- Dafka talking over here? So the Rebbe explains, because in the previous parashas, when it says boy, come to pare, so over there it says the purpose of coming to Paray. It says, uh, it says in, in the Apostolic that you should dabber al Paray, speak to Paray, say to Paray, uh, tell, uh, uh, tell him about the market. Over here it just says boy al Paray, and it doesn't say what he should do with Paray. So the, that's why the Zoya says that over here, boy al Paray, the purpose was just in coming to Paray and to go to the very essence of Paray the very essence of Pari, and to break the creeper in its source. And Moshe Rabbeinu was scared, because Pari is Mamish Umizel of everything that's Kodesh. He's uh, standing on a very high level, a very powerful level, because he's the Umizel to be able to make it in the Soyim, even for the greatest and, and the most powerful people. That's what Pari represents. And, uh, and even Moshe Rabbein was scared to go into those innermost chambers of Pari. Till now, it was only the external aspects of Pari, external uh, Yetzirahs. Now we're going into the source. <coughs> and the, and the, Moshe, uh, the Abishra said, boil Pari and break Pari. The p- purpose is to go, you, Moshe, go to Pari, that you should break Pari, you should break the whole source, and the whole strength that Kripa has. Uh, and uh, so that the Yidin should be able to leave all limitations and have a real Yitzhiyaz Mitzrayim, because real Yitzhiyaz Mitzrayim is not only the physical Mitzrayim, but the bondage, the, uh, the spiritual bondage that the Yitzhiyaz and the Kripa has in this world, that they were enslaved, and that, they were, that was the real Mitzrayim, and that, they were, they, that by you, Moshe Rabbeinu, breaking it, and I, will, and I will come with you and help you, which translated in our, a little bit to carry it down into our world, that people a lot of times think that if I do a good thing, I did a good thing. It's a great thing. And yes, a good thing, if I do a good thing, and my sitoiv, I go out with the tune and put on children with the Jew, I, I did a terrific thing. I, I, I learned Torah, I have shu'im and Torah, I did a terrific thing. And that is Yitzhiyaz Mitzrayim. It's, that's not yet to see as Mitzrayim. The real Mitzrayim is the innermost self of what the person is all about, his habits, his comfort zone. That even if somebody, like it, say, like it says in Tanya, that even if somebody came from a total left side and he had all kinds of nisyanis and he had all kinds of failures and then he overpowered himself, he, he took himself into his hand and put himself into the good, in a good direction. And he, he's doing everything good now. So compared to where he was before, so it's a terrific level. It's an uncomparable level. However, if, he sa- if he's satisfied with what he accomplished, so he's a called Asher Loi Ovdai. And he's not going out of Mitzrayim. He's not going out of his limitations. The biggest limitation is the essence of the person himself, the comfort zone of the person himself. What I'm doing, whatever I'm doing, because I'm sa- because I want to satisfy myself. I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel that I'm doing the right thing. I have a side purpose. What the person has known, the real going out of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, is to go to the very source of everything. The source of everything is 
to annul yourself to the Rotten of Hashem, and in the way to the Shamash is coining. And that is not such an easy thing. And for that, you need, it's only that the Abishra, that's what he said to Moshe Rabbeinu, I will go with you. You go to the most inner chambers. What's the most inner chambers? Me, myself, and I. Chas the, the person, the me, myself, and I is involved with negative things. But even if the Bor Hashem, the me, myself, and I is involved with good things, but everything is only because of me and my perfection. So then you're still in Mitzrayim, you're still in limitations. And the similar to that is that the Rebbe constantly has the Pisgum that, we ha that uh, today cannot be just a repetition of yesterday and tomorrow can't be a repetition of today. The Ebershah gives you another day, so you have to think, what can I accomplish, what can I do better, whether in quantity or in quality today, and that, uh, that, that I fulfill a purpose that is Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim, to think, what does the Abish do? Why is the Abish giving me this life? Why is the Abish giving me this strength? Why is the Abish giving me this ability? So that I should accomplish something. And I should go beyond just my own personal limitations. That's the source. That's the biggest creeper of Pare that, <coughs> that I don't annul myself. Me, Hashem. I, I don't know Hashem. That Hashem represents the revelation of Godliness that goes beyond all limitations. And that we have to, that, and it says Mitzrayim means that we connect ourselves with that, and that I go beyond my own limitations, and I go beyond my own self, and to get rid of of non wanted actions, to get rid of uh, of actions that don't give me any satisfaction, get rid of actions that that are not good. The half to the other half dollars, but go is the same thing. When, uh, they, 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 that he's doing every certain per, every person wants to feel to, to a degree that I am a good person, and if I do X, Y, and Z, I won't be a good person. So he wants to be a good person. So the driving force is my personal feeling and my personal want to be a good person, to be to be to be to do a proper thing. I can view myself as a proper person. That's not the Yitzhak Mitzrayim. That is still living with myself. That's living with the source of what power is about. That that the power, the, the, the real meaning of power is yeshus. That everything is me, myself, and I, and my want, and my purpose, and my perfection, etc. The Thiyas Messiah means that you have to go to the very source of the thing, and that, and, and that which is very hard. And even Moshe Rabbeinu was scared of that. And until the Abishra said, I, if you take this, this step that you have to take, Think into it. What can I do to better to go out of self? To do just because I need a race of the Shamash is Kaini. That's how you have your Tisman Shrine, and that's how we can go to the Gulish Shreimo to the Korav Mamish. It's like the zones, I got nothing else to say.